Ukraine and with whom, if anyone, they did it. Uh, when a foreign state interferes with our democratic electoral process, um, it should be a chance of a lifetime for a law enforcement agent to investigate that, except apparently the one that was actually picked to investigate it. Uh, that was Peter Strzok. FBI agent Peter Strzok was picked to lead the FBI's investigation into what Russia did in July of 2016. It was a counterintelligence investigation begun in late July 2016, and he was leading it, and at about the exact same time he was picked to lead it, this dispassionate and uh, fair FBI agent was calling Trump a disaster, destabilizing for the country. Uh, I'll leave out uh, all the F uh, adjectives he used to describe that. I'll just go with disaster and destabilizing. Same time, his uh, FBI lawyer girlfriend, Lisa Page, was telling him he was meant to protect the country this neutral, dispassionate FBI agent said, I can protect the country at many levels. Same time, Peter Strzok, who was picked to objectively, fairly, neutrally look into the Russia investigation, was talking about an insurance policy with Andy McCabe and Lisa Page in the event Donald Trump became the president. All of this was happening at the same time Peter Strzok said he could smell the Trump support in Southern Virginia. All this was at the same time that this FBI agent said a Trump presidency would be effing terrifying and that it will never happen. No, no, we'll stop it. So while investigating Russia and their attempt to subvert our democracy may have been important to the rest of the country, it wasn't all that important to about a half dozen FBI agents and lawyers who were assigned to the case. For them, it was an investigation to stop Donald Trump, which then brings us to May of 2017 and the appointment of special counsel, where we find Peter Strzok again, this same supposed to be dispassionate, neutral, fair FBI agent. You would think he'd be really excited about investigating what a foreign power tried to do to this country, but you would be wrong again for Peter Strzok at precisely the same time that Bob Mueller was appointed, precisely the same time. Peter Strzok was talking about his unfinished business and how he needed to fix and finish it so Donald Trump did not become president. He was talking about impeachment within three days of special counsel Mueller being appointed. Three days. That's even quicker than MSNBC and the Democrats were talking about impeaching. Within three days, the lead FBI agent is talking about impeaching the president. So this is where we are. We're two years into this investigation. We're a year and a half into the presidency. We're over a year into special counsel. You have a counterintelligence investigation that's become public. You have a criminal investigation that's become political. You have more bias than I have ever seen manifest on a law enforcement officer in the 20 years I used to do it for a living. And four other DOJ employees who had manifest animus towards the person they were supposed to be neutrally and detachedly investigating. Democrats are using this investigation as a presumption of guilt, which I, I find astonishing. And in the long run for the health of this republic, I would encourage them to go back to the presumption of innocence that we used to hold sacred. There's a presumption of guilt. There's a desire by Democrat senators to fundraise off of your investigation. More than 60 Democrats have already voted to proceed with impeachment before Bob Mueller has found a single solitary damn thing. More than 60 have voted to move forward with impeachment, and he hasn't presented his first finding. So I'm going to say this to you, Mr. Ray, Mr. Rosenstein. I realize that neither one of you were there when this happened, but you're both there now. Uh, Russia attacked this country. They should be the target, but Russia isn't being hurt by this investigation right now. We are. This country is being hurt by it. We are being divided. We've seen the bias. We've seen the bias. We need to see the evidence. If you have evidence of wrongdoing by any member of the Trump campaign, present it to the damn grand jury. If you have evidence that this president acted inappropriately, present it to the American people. Uh, there's an old saying that justice delayed is justice denied. I think right now all of us are being denied. Whatever you got, finish it the hell up.
because this country is being torn apart. I would yield back, Mr. Chairman.